Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if this is your first time here. So for today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how I do my eyebrows. I filmed one probably about a year, year and a half ago. Some of the products have changed. My technique has slightly changed, but it's pretty much a basic eyebrow tutorial or routine. Nothing really too difficult. This is more for like I guess you could say structured brows. I really do prefer the more dramatic defined brow versus a like natural brow. I don't have very full brows, so I have to do a lot of tweaking to my brows just to make it look like I have decent eyebrows. Leave a comment below how many times I just said eyebrows. Eyebrows are very personal preference. This is just the way that I like to do them. There are so many ways that people do their eyebrows. So if this isn't something that you like or you don't prefer this method, there's definitely like a million ways to do your eyebrows. So just wanted to put that out there and I'll leave all the products that I use in the description box, but I do show everything in the video as well. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Also, just wanted to let you know what I'm wearing on my lips because I'm currently obsessed with this combination. It is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade BFF3 with the Makeup Revolution Sheer Brilliant Lip Gloss in the shade Sheer Attraction. I believe these are new. I just picked it up and I'm in love. It is so pretty, so comfortable and so like hydrating it just feels really nice on the lips so if you want to see what my brow routine looks like then go ahead and keep watching don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and also subscribe if you haven't already and yeah let's get on with the video okay so we are super close we're gonna start with the ColourPop brow boss pencil in the shade dark brown and what i'm gonna do is i'm going to brush through my brows really quickly there isn't really much to a brush so yeah <laughs> so I really like this pencil because it comes with a spoolie and it has the pencil on the other side and it is retractable so I don't have to worry about sharpening or anything so I'm just gonna go ahead and start outlining the natural shape of my brow light strokes just over the top and the bottom So that's what I do first. I just outline the natural shape of my brow. I do extend the tail just a little bit because I like a little bit of a longer brow. And then I also draw the arch in just a little bit more because as you can tell on this side, my brow doesn't naturally arch that way, but I do have some hair up here. So it's mainly because I'm missing a little bit of hair on the arch but I do like my brows to have more of an arch rather than to be like straight across. I think it lifts my eyes a little bit more. It frames my face a little bit better. So that's just the way that I prefer to do my brows. Obviously, you're gonna do your brows however you like them and according to your brow shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. So the reason why I like doing my brows before I do the rest of my makeup is because if I mess up, I can wipe it off, I can clean them up and not like ruin any of my other makeup. So I prefer to do them first before starting on the rest of my face. Now that I've outlined my brows, I can go in and fill them in and I use the LA Girl brow pomade this is in the shade soft black and I use the Anastasia I think it's like the number 12 or something I can't remember because it's completely rubbed off but it is the Anastasia brow brush I'm gonna take the pomade and just fill in the brows so I'll take a little bit of that product on my brush and I'll start off on the tail of the brow so like the 
not really the tail, but like the final third. And basically just so that most of the product can be on that end of the brow. And then anything that is left on the brush, I start bringing it forward. There's not as much product on the brush at this point, so it kind of fades a lot better. It just makes it look a little bit more natural, even though you can obviously tell that these are not my natural brows, but um, it just looks better. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. And then I just kind of brush through. If I feel like I've applied too much product in a certain area, I just take the spoolie end and brush through to kind of disperse that. So at this point, I'm pretty happy with the overall shape and everything of the brow. Now I'm gonna go in and clean them up. To clean them up, I'm taking the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer in the shade Medium Beige and the AOA Studio E122 brush, which just looks like this. I just like to take my finger and flatten it out a little bit just so that it's more precise whenever I'm carving out the brows. So what I'll do is I'll just take a little bit of that concealer on the back of my hand, just like that. Take my brush and kind of just pick up some of that concealer. And then I'll go in and clean up underneath. Then I'll take that concealer and just kind of drag it down a little bit. I use the same concealer to prime my eyelids, so. And then take a brush like this. This is the Morphe M173. And just kind of buff out the edges. And then I'll do the same thing on the top. If I like covered a little bit of the brow with concealer, I just go in with that brush that I use to apply the pomade and then just go over it to fix whatever I covered up. I mainly do the top of the brow just so that whenever I go in with my foundation, I don't have to bring it so close and end up covering my entire brow with foundation. So that's, that's the purpose of cleaning up the top of the brow with the concealers that I have more control and I don't have to worry about um, messing it up whenever I go in with my foundation. And then I'll just take that same little brush that I used and buff out the edges, just like that. Once I'm done cleaning the brows, I'll just go in and make sure that everything looks pretty close to the same. Obviously, your brows are never gonna look identical. They are not twins. They are sisters. Sometimes they're even cousins. Now I'm gonna go in and set so that everything stays in place. My current favorite um, brow mascara is the Collab Shape and Shade Tinted Brow Mascara, and this is in the shade Light Brunette. I think they have a darker version, but I haven't picked it up. This was actually sent to me, and ever since I've received it, I've been using it, and I absolutely love it. So I do need to go pick one up in a darker shade, but I just take very little of this and mainly focus this towards the outer part of the brow. And then I'll go in and apply very little to the front. I usually do this at the end once I have applied all my makeup, my powder and everything, just so that if there's any powder on the eyebrows, I can remove that with the mascara. But for the sake of the video, I'm just doing this step now. If I get any powder on my brows later, I'll just go in and clean that up. But 
yeah this is usually the last step of my makeup is setting the brows right before I set my entire face obviously they are a little bold um, but I just like them that way that is it you guys those are my brows so that is my brow routine, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and turn on your notifications so that you're notified when I upload another video. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for being here and spending a little bit of your day with me. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.